Hey, what's up guys? It's King Knock here. I'm coming at you with a brand new video. This is not your typical gameplay video. Just more explaining on like how I play the game, like how I get the shitter lobbies and how other YouTubers get it. I mean, a lot of YouTubers have made videos, but I do get questions a lot from my friends, people on TikTok, some people in my comment section, people in game. But, excuse me, how you reverse boost. It's simple in the fact but it also like you need if you have your friends that reverse boost with you it's better so what you do is i have i play on ps4 i have a pc i have the game on pc but i don't play it on there because my internet's like it's whack on pc it's pretty bad i don't understand sometimes but what i do is i have my shitter kind of my pc which has zero kills 300 deaths one win and like over 2,000 losses. because when i play solo i just get thrown in games i leave i don't care about the losses but that's beside the point. So what you do is if you have two consoles or a PC and a console, whatever you do, the simple thing is is where you, you have to buy the game twice. That's the, that's the bad part. Is I know you, some people can't afford the game twice. But if you can, this is how you do it. So when you buy the game twice, you have your shitter account on whatever. You go into What I did was I played three games. It took me three games to get it. So you go in. And you let the enemies kill you. You don't kill yourself. You let the enemies kill you on your shitter account. So you don't go it. You go in with the, just your shitter account. So the lobbies might be sweaty off the start, but that doesn't matter. When you do that, make sure you lose. So if you're about to win, you can leave the game. Gives you a loss. It doesn't matter. Everything still counts. After maybe the third game, you should tell that the lobbies are a bit shittier. Like you might see lower levels. But note, there's other people that also reverse boost at the same time. Like, I've ran into people that are also reverse boosting, but you should tell when the kids are trash. So what you do after that is when you get your shitter account in the game, you join session on your shitter account while he's in the lobby, and then you leave your shitter account by itself, and then that's how you get those lobbies. That's how I get my lobbies. That's how I, I actually enjoy the game. I know it's scummy, but you know what? Call of Duty used to be like, you know, I, when I played Call of Duty, I wasn't really good at the start. You get thrown in, and you get thrown in to the wolves. You have to get good somehow. Like when they play me, yeah, I die sometimes, but it doesn't matter. I play the game for fun. I play it to make videos, or just actually keep sane instead of trying to play sweats all the time. But yeah, that's how you sort of reverse boost. That's how I got all my stats, high level. But the best thing to do, if I were you guys, is if you have a friend that also wants to reverse boost party up with them the more the better because you keep get if when you play solo you get thrown a lot more games that's a bit frustrating but that's what you do the best game mode to play when reverse boosting is 12v12 when it's a featured playlist like see how these game modes are the featured playlist when there's 12v12 in here search that it is the best game mode to level up in and the best game mode to actually not get thrown in games like nuketown so hard raid so hard because all the games that get thrown in. And sometimes you might not be able to connect, but it's fine. But yes, if this helped you, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe for this helpful tip. I will do a settings video coming up here soon. It's not really anything special. I mean, I play shitters all the time, so settings don't really matter. All that matters is how you do the reverse boost. So the way you do it, hope you guys enjoyed. Peace out.